Okay, um, so speaking about mineral deficiencies, now this is chapter three um, of our nutritional guide. Um, and so we're gonna talk about mineral deficiencies, we're gonna talk about minerals themselves, how to do the water test, body composition, and then kind of a close. Mineral deficiencies. Goats do experience mineral deficiencies, some from the minerals themselves and others through the soil and mineral deficiencies of harvested pasture grasses. The primary mineral deficiencies to monitor in your goat are copper, selenium, zinc, and iodine. Copper deficiency typically results from high molybdenum, high sulfur, and iron in, grassy, in grazing pastures. It causes poor growth rates and an increase in susceptibility to disease. The earliest signs of copper deficiency are a faded coat, fish tail, balding of the tail tip, and losing hair on the face, especially around the eyes or the bridge of the nose. A black goat turns a rusty color, red goats turn gold, goats go, gold goats turn cream, and cream goats turn white. Goats may also appear to be anemic. Hmm, interesting. Selenium functions with vitamin E as an antioxidant, protecting cell membranes for oxidation. Selenium also affects reproduction. De deficiency often occurs from feeding alfalfa hay grown in degraded soils. Legume alfalfa hay may not uptake enough selenium from the soil in areas where it's deficient. And high dietary, m m whatever that word was again, can depress absorption of copper and cause a deficiency. There should be at least four times as much copper as molybdenum, there was that word again, in the diet. Deficiency symptoms include poor growth rate, kids being unable to suckle, white muscle disease, cardiac and skeletal muscles have white spots, that was in parentheses, sudden death by heart attack, progressive paralysis, and retained afterbirth. It's more effective to provide selenium and vitamin E supplementation through feed than by injection. Zinc is found in all animal tissues and is required by the immune system and for normal skin growth. Zinc is also essential for male reproduction. Deficiency symptoms include dermatitis, thick dry patches of skin, hair loss, skin lesions, swollen feet, and poor hair growth. The bran and germ of cereals contain high levels of zinc. Iodine is a component of thyroid hormones that regulate energy and metabolism and reproductive function. The major iodine deficiency symptom is a goiter, a swollen or enlarged thyroid gland in the neck. Also, iodine deficiency causes reduced growth and milk yield. Pregnancy, toxemia, and reproductive problems such as late-term abortion, hairless fetus, retained placenta, and weak kids. Most of the southern United States has adequate iodine in the soil, and most minerals and trace mineralized salts contain iodine. A number of areas in the northern United States are deficient in iodine due to soil geology. The water test. A local water testing facility will test your water source and provide you with results. A key item to look for is calcium carbonate, not only calcium as a whole. If the calcium carbonate levels are considered high, you will consider eliminating alfalfa in a high calcium in, which is high in calcium from the diet. Orchard or Timothy grass will provide a balanced ratio of 1.5 to one. Hay analysis can be done through a local business. For those living in or near Idaho, Northwest Labs in Jerome, Idaho will complete an NIR analysis for 20 bucks. You can mail in your sample. Also, we'll also test water. Uh, Ward Laboratories, Inc. in Kearney, Nebraska is another option for testing. Now on to body composition and score. A body composition conditioning score gives a visual idea of the physical health or weight of your goat. Using this scoring method allows you to have a general understanding of your goat's current body condition, monitoring the body condition of your goats, assist in alerting you to a nutritional plan and identifying health deficiencies. So I'll leave that for you. There's a, you know, basically a one through five and that you can score your goat and it gives you what those are. So take a look at that. Body kind of composition score, score in sheep and goats. We also have a nice diagram for you to see. So in closing, 
As an animal owner, it is our responsibility to care for our animals in the best way possible, whether our animals are adventure companions, food sources, or they all have a human, or excuse me, an economic value. A solid nutrition plan will assist them in living a full life. Understanding that illness and death may occur even with our best efforts. Designing a nutritional plan that works for your scenario can provide a healthy lifestyle with as much present knowledge on goat care. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, what I would say is that um, this has been an evolutionary process and without Christy and her research on this, um, we still wouldn't have all this great information for you. And so I would encourage you to realize that the team that we've assembled in Boshea, who does a tremendous amount of research as well, um, as well as Christy, who kind of assembles that and puts a lot of it together. Um, but Shea is also somebody that spends a lot of time making sure the YouTube videos are accurate um, and that there's really good information um, in follow-ups. And she writes a lot of blog posts on the site. And so Shea deserves a lot of credit for that as well. Um, and then Lynn, our lead tech, um, is the Sir Mix a lot that puts it all out there so you guys can ingest this information and we hope you find it helpful. If you like what we're doing here, um, we believe you will gain value from our courses and from our membership and we hope you choose to join or get a course. Um, if you're a veteran or a newbie, we believe you'll gain value. And as the membership continues to grow, you're going to get enough discounts on things that you're already buying anyway um, that the course will pay for itself. And so we really have a beautiful thing here. And so we hope you found this helpful and we hope you find what we do helpful. Mark Warnke, signing out.